To place a section tag and to place an elevation tag in Revit follows the same process. When placing a section tag in a Revit model, the tag itself is actually cutting a new view of the model to view it at. Uh, so to place a section tag in the model, first uh, go over to the tool tray to the left and choose basics and then the section tool. When you hover in the model space, um, you can start it just like a, a grid line. Click to start, drag, and click for a finish point. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the section tool. Um, it's dropped the tag in the drawing and also if you look to the left in the browser window, it's created a new category that wasn't there before. It's a uh, section drawing. If you click to expand uh, and then you can double click on that, that will open up a window which shows you the new section view that's created. Um, I'm going to close out of this window um, and go back to the plan view. You can uh, double click uh, on the view arrow of the section tag itself and that will also bring up that same window. So if I double click on the tag, uh, it brings up the section drawing that it's cutting. Um, I'm going to minimize the window and then I'm going to tile them to see them at the same time. Uh, going into the plan now, uh, if I hover and click over the section tag, I can move it around and that will actually uh, affect the section that it's cutting uh, simultaneously. Uh, if I click on the break icon, um, I can split up the section, uh, bring it back. I can flip its direction with the control arrow um, and I can also flip it around with these icons here uh, and that will flip the tag itself around. The uh, blue bounding box, if I click on the tag, is its crop region. Um, I can pull it around to get more or less information of the section it's, it's showing. Uh, I can bring it back sideways in its depth. Uh, you can also affect this in the section itself um, and you can, you can bring it down. You can bring it up as well. I'm going to close out of the section window uh, and zoom out a little bit. The elevation tag uh, works pretty much the same way. I'm going to go over to the tool tray uh, to get an elevation tag. First, go click on the view tray and then click elevation. Um, zooming in, um, as you hover around walls, it will automatically try to point to one. Click to place it and then I'm going to click escape a couple times to get out of the tool tray, to get out of the tool. Also notice in the browser window to the left um, that the elevation tag has now created a new elevation. Uh, you can double click on it to see the view that it's showing. I'm going to minimize and then tile the windows. Um, coming in here, uh, if you click on uh, the tag itself on the, on the arrow, you can bring up its crop region and you can adjust it either in plan or you can also go to the elevation view and you can bring it down and up as well. Uh, these break icons here will split the views into as many as you want. This works also for the tag, for the section tag. Um, going back, you can adjust the elevation tag. If you click on the body of the tag, um, you can add more views to it. Um, if you click on the rotate icon and drag while still holding down, you can also rotate uh, the um, angle that it's viewing at. Um, if you go to click again to turn off an elevation view, um, it will bring up a warning saying you're not just turning off the tag, you're also deleting a view. This happens with a section tag as well. If you delete a tag, you're also deleting a whole drawing that's associated with it.